Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm gonna start injecting myself. At least, that's what I'm hoping because I really just wanna get these injections over with. We have an appointment this morning with our fertility doctor, and I am just really looking forward to having them jam that thing on my cupcake, tell me everything looks good, and get this show on the road. Because I've been waiting a very long time, and I just wanna, like I said, get it over with. <laughs> Because the anticipation is killing me. That's what we're doing now. I want to show you my outfit today. I know it's kind of dark, but I'm just wearing this like black turtleneck uh, like top. My Fashion Nova jeans, which I absolutely love. Um, these boots, which I think I got these at a thrift store. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. Um, my Angela Roy bag, which these bags, you guys, are like all vegan, cruelty-free, luxury handbags. So if you are not wanting to kill an animal for your bag, then you should get these because they're really nice. I didn't have time to put makeup on today. Um, oh, and this jacket is from H&M. I don't know why my camera keeps going out of focus, but you get the idea. And that's my outfit. Black on black on black. Here is my oatmeal that I'm eating. Cigarettes in tiny liquor bottles Just what you'd expect Inside her new Balenciaga viral mask So we just got in here. I'm so nervous and I'm so scared. What are they, what are they covering underneath there? Oh, this is a great bag. This fits perfectly. Look at this. It's your little stuff. All right, I gotta get undressed. You went in, you did the normal fill up the cup stuff. Yeah, but I had to, I, I needed to ask for a second cup. I mean, for real? <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're in a good mood. You went in to ejaculate into a cup and I went in to talk about shots and how I can't water ski or go in a pool and I'm not gonna be able to like yeah, but it's do very anything. stressful because I have to like, pay close attention to get everything in the cup. Well, I'm very proud of you, so thank you for high five for getting it in the cup. I feel like I don't give them as much as normal because I have the stress of getting it all in the cup and not like relaxing as I much. I think it's a little too much detail for the tube. What? You're filming? He knows that we're <laughs> filming you guys. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> um, so anyway, <clears throat> Appointment went really well. Everything looks good. The doctor did an ultrasound and basically told us that uh, the lining was thin, which is what I guess like the birth control did. That's what they wanted. They said it's normal that I didn't get my period and that I've just been like spotting brown or whatever uh, for like a week and that I might not even get my period because of the birth control and also I might get it, just who knows, I'll kind of up in the air, but everything looks good for me to start my injections tonight. So I do them at night, I do one in each side, so you guys are gonna be able to see me do my injections for the first time. And uh, she also said uh, not to go in a pool because they don't want anything going up there, um, like bacteria, especially a public pool, or especially, she said, a leak. Um, definitely nothing like nothing that. Nothing going up there for what? Like the next couple weeks? or Yeah, until she says otherwise. So, and no working out. And then I said, is it okay for me to do like a significant amount of walking on Friday and Saturday because we're going to be at Coachella? And she said, um, yeah, but listen to your body. She's like, your ovaries are going to get really big and you're not going to want to do anything. She's like, you're not going to want to move too much. And she said, really treat them like very precious, gently, yeah. Precious um, cargo. Yeah, because they can twist when they get that big. So she just said to be careful and, you know, we're good to go, basically. And she gave me, like, all the appointments and scheduled and all that stuff. And she said to call her if I have any questions. And that's how it went. It went really well. And I'm, surprisingly, I'm not as nervous as I was first going in. I think because I just didn't know what they were going to say. But um, I'm sure I'll be way more nervous right before I give myself the injections mainly because it's like my first time doing it I don't really know what the hell I'm doing yeah. and all that but I think after a couple of a few days like two or three days it'll be kind of like okay like we know what to do but like tonight it's going to be very like calculated and very organized and okay we're we making sure and I think yeah. that is more of the worrisome part than actually doing it right yeah to me anyways but I'm not the one injecting myself yeah um but let's go shopping I saw TJ Maxx on the way here Oh boy. 
Uh, listen, you need to spoil me and be real sweet to me during this whole time. I am because, so sweet to you. <laughs> because I'm going to be a little raging bitch, I think, uh, from all these hormones. We shall see, guys. Um, oh, also, I was so nervous that I literally pooped twice this morning. And, like, not just poop, but, like, TMI. Turn this chair. If you do not like TMI or, like, gross things, you shouldn't even be watching this everybody channel right now. <laughs> yeah, everybody poops. I, like, full-on diarrhea. Like, but both times this morning because I was so nervous. Many like, people maybe don't need that much information. Well, I like to tell that um, that much because I feel like I'm talking to my best friend and like you guys are my best friends and if you're not my best friend then you shouldn't be watching. <laughs> or just fast forward when I say I TMI stuff. Diarrhea? Well, I'm okay telling them that I have diarrhea because I think everybody gets diarrhea every once in a while. It's okay to know it, especially when you get really nervous about stuff. Your, your tummy can get upset. I was having really bad tummy pains on the way here because, you know, I'm s my... I'm just a very sensitive human being. <laughs> Keep passing me on the head. All right, we're going shopping, guys. So this was the outfit that I wore for the day. It's just like a better view of my OOTD since you couldn't really see it that well earlier. But this was like super ugly. I don't know why, but oh, I really like this. And again, I regret not getting it, but whatever. This was like super ugly. I just went to TJ Maxx and like picked out a bunch of things. Travis wanted to go to like look for jeans. And so I figured I'd go and look uh, for some stuff for me. And yeah, I just like, I don't know, I've been a little bit more into fashion lately and like wanting to like dress cute instead of just wear sweats and pajamas all the time. So I thought it would be cool to go get some new clothes. I, I think I ended up getting one thing and I'll show it to you at the end of the video because I didn't, I forgot to film it, of course. But um, here was like a fun little t-shirt dress that's like all cut up and kind of cute but I don't know they didn't look very good on me and you could probably totally see my badge because I never wear underwear so yeah okay so this is what I ended up buying it's the same thing I got in white but I found it in black and I don't know I just thought it was really cute so it is for, from free people originally $128 and I think I got it for like $39 or $34 or something like that so yeah super stoked on that oh I actually found another dress on the way out, this one, and this was so cute. So I hated the top of it, but I look at the bottom. Oh my God, I love the lace and roses. It's like so goth, but like so fashionable and trendy right now. And I just love, love, loved it. So I loved it from like the waist down, but like the top part you can see, it just didn't fit me very well. It was very loose and like not form fitting, but it's such a beautiful dress and I really wanted it, but I didn't end up getting it because it just didn't fit me right on the top. You guys, we're all sleepy and cozy on the couch. Um, I fixed my hair. Oh, honey. For my teeth play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, careful with my tummy, honey. Where I put you pushing where I'm injecting myself. Um, so, you guys, we ended up. I know the last thing that you saw was us at like TJ Maxx, me trying on clothes. And we ended up like doing a lot. What are you? Are you so weird? We ended up like doing shopping and like just getting shit done. I filmed a Coachella haul. <laughs> I also did my injections. Woo! But I put that in a totally separate video because, hold on, sorry. <coughs> oh, goodness. You guys, I got a shirt and a pair of shorts today. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. I'm gonna, do a, I'm gonna do a haul on two items. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly baby. Um, so yeah, we did the shots, but because it was our first night, it was kind of funny, like watching us bicker back and forth and like kind of argue and have no idea what we were doing. So we filmed like a whole video doing that. Um, and it came out to like 13 or 14 minutes. So we made it its own vlog. So I should be putting it up like probably somewhere like soon for you to watch it. Um, but yeah, we did it. I can't believe it. I definitely I had anxiety and like a little bit of a panic attack afterwards, but I'm you okay. did so well. Thanks, Biggles. So proud of you. Thanks. So, yeah, oh, so much like weight lifted off my shoulders just because like that first day is done, you know? Fear of the unknown. So, um, anyway, I think we're going to end the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to Coachella, so be sure to stay tuned because we're going to be vlogging our whole trip, our road trips, everything. Um, yep, so uh, if you want to come along, be sure to subscribe. Hit the little bell for the notifications so you get... Bing. So you get um, like notified when we have a new video that comes up. But and come you. say hi. Yeah, come say if hi. If you see us. 
and Coachella. Oh yeah, if you're at Coachella, come definitely come say hi to us. Like we love meeting you guys. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. And you know we'll be here. Will, Will you? you?